Well, the internet is full of resources that make things easier to do, mm -hmm. right? Ourselves, right. we can do it. Like you can book travel, you can file your taxes, you can even prepare legal documents. But just because you can do these things doesn't always mean you should, especially when it comes to estate planning. Uh, that's true. Attorney Jim Blazik, estate planning law group of Blazik and Greg is back to help us this morning. Good to see you. Hello, Mike. Thanks Kayla. for stopping How in. How are you? Uh, listen, you, you're an attorney, but I you am. got into estate planning. How did you decide to go into that line of work? Uh, believe it or not, uh, my law school professor in Creighton University called me almost every day. She called me almost every day in estate and gift tax, and uh, I don't know whether she hated me or loved me. Were you sitting me, in the front row? No, 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 no. Well, I might have been. I was a B, uh, so Blazik, I might have been in the front row. Yeah, but yeah. She called on me uh, every day, and uh, almost every day, and so I had to learn federal estate and gift tax, and it led me to my career. So I owe my profession to my educator, uh, Professor Perlman. Why is it important for people when they're looking at estate planning to look for someone who specializes in it? You know, Kayla, estate planning has become more and more complex, especially over the last 10 years. You wouldn't believe how many clients I have that are attorneys that find it difficult to even do their own estate mm -hmm. planning. Mm -hmm. uh, you are much better off with someone that devotes their entire practice just to estate planning. I think that you bring up a good point. You have attorneys that come to see you for their estate planning because it is so specialized these days. There's so many things you have to consider. Why should someone see you for their planning? Well, first of all, our law firm is all about better planning. All we do is estate planning. That is estate plan creation, estate plan maintenance, and estate plan administration when people pass away or become disabled. Uh, we limit our practice to estate planning, and the first thing we do with clients is help establish their goals. Better planning always starts with establishing your goals. Once you establish the goals uh, and you find out what people really want to accomplish, you're better able to recommend the very strategies that would help them meet those goals. That's what good planning is all about. You know, we were kind of alluding to this in our intro. You can do just about anything online these mm -hmm. days. You can, you know, hey, I want to become a minister. I want to do this. Hey, can I, can I write my own will? Can I find these forms online? Why, why would people do that? Why is that a terrible idea? Well, online forms are kind of a siren song. It, it, it makes you think that these things are simple when they're not. Estate planning is very, very complex. You know, when you look at an online form, you never know what your other options might have been. Mm -hmm. And speaking of the other options. Well, you, when you talk about complicated, just look at this. Uh, break this down. What are we looking at here? This, uh, this is a, one of our handouts we give clients that shows them the various estate planning strategies that are out there. Once we establish a client's goals, we are able to recommend the appropriate strategy to help them meet their goals. For most clients, we start out in the bullseye, with the bullseye with what we call essential planning strategies either a rev revocable living trust or a, or a will, various powers of attorney. But more complex situations would go into the yellow band and even more complex into the, yeah. into the outer band. So you start in the center kind of work your way out depending on how specialized your specific situation is. How complex it is and uh, the complexity of the goals you want to achieve, the levels of protection you want for your loved ones, the level of protection you want for your assets might get into the more and more complex strategies. We have another image that we want to show you. And it, you know, it's, it's a little hard to read, but ex break this down for us. Mm -hmm. Well, estate planning at a very high level is the same for all of us. I mean, we're all going to pass away and we're all going to leave everything we have to our loved ones. The issue is how does the property get to our loved ones? How much of it gets to our loved ones? How well is it protected? When our property moves from ourselves to our loved ones, there are a whole host of things that will take it away from our families. So. What we find is that old style planning does not plug these gaps. Well, I can old, see, I'm sorry, go ahead. Well, old style planning does not address these issues, which are really vitally important to everybody today. Yeah, and I can see the, the way families lose money, I see three of those are taxes. Taxes is a big factor. Well, taxes are a huge factor, particularly for the plans that were done before 2013. Uh, we find that many of the estate plans done, especially for married couples that were done before 2013, will cause their families to incur unnecessary capital gains mm. tax. Is that because the laws have changed and so now you have to reformulate your estate plan? There's a massive law change in 2013. Uh, we have much higher death tax exemptions or federal estate tax exemptions. So federal estate tax is much less of a problem for, for, most, for most people. What is a much, much larger problem now is capital gains tax. And we find that because of those law changes, um, people are paying unnecessary capital gains tax. When it comes to starting the plan, I think we've established that Google is probably not the place <laughs> to start, right? So when they come to you, where do you start? Well, 
they can call, you know, call our office. Uh, Angela will set up an appointment for you. And she'll mail, it, mail out a fact finder to you, which is just titled Estate Planning mm -hmm. Goals. And it's a few pages to help refine and clarify your goals so that we can make sure we talk about the things that are, are of interest to you when you come to the office. That's a, I think that you bring up a good point because it's not a one-size-fits-all approach. It depends on your needs, what mm -hmm. you want to accomplish with your estate, and how you want to pass that on to your loved ones, or maybe you don't want to give it to your loved ones at all. Maybe you want to donate it to charity, whatever it is. We see a lot of clients that uh, happily are you know, protecting and providing for the Nebraska and local charities. Yeah. Uh, you're going to hold some workshops. Uh, yeah. right? I, I do want to talk about this because we've talked about this uh, in some of your past visits and it's, it's, it's coming up not, not too far down the road. In July. Next seminar is in July and these are about an hour and a half session where people can call or people can come in and ask questions that they would want to know about estate planning, go through, go through some material to explain, uh, you know, uh, old style planning, mm -hmm. what better planning can and should be. And most importantly, ex explain how the law changes, uh, have come into effect in 2013 that really change everything for married couples. Yeah, if you're considering going to the, some of those seminars, well, blazingandgreg.com is a good place to start, or you can call the phone number on the screen, but at what point in your life should you be thinking about an estate plan before we let you go? I think uh, once you have a family, once you have minor children, once you have a significant estate, uh, once you have enough property you want to protect, you should be thinking about estate planning. Well, and this work, this worksheet that you brought in here, this yeah, is not difficult out, paper. Out. I've done things for my children's school that are more complicated, <laughs> more complicated than this. So it's a good way to make it easy to get people started because people, you can't just put your head in your sand on this one. So thank you very much for your time today, Jim. Good to thank see you. you. All right. You know the